So it's night before the Orlando Mastermind Workshop. I'm actually gonna go out and have dinner with, with a one guy that uh, is actually fairly new to trading and he wanted to get the chance to catch up a little bit so that he can kind of hit the ground running when, when we start tomorrow morning. So I'm excited to meet the guy. <laughs> so what are we looking from a multi-time for perspective? For, so you, you zoom in, I guess from, I guess you're going, so now you're looking at the options play, what could, which option strikes and so on and so forth? Yes, exactly. Right, right. We're looking and, at selling out of those money calls. Okay, so that's a little bit more of an income perspective. Right, mm -hmm. which that works out really good. That's right. like a 28% return. And look, does it look pretty good? <laughs> <laughs> what what do you think about that? Pretty good. that, you know, just that little reaffirmation, something I totally overlooked. Yeah. So kind of so, using moving averages also like for risk management and kind of just yeah, placing your Yeah, like how to, right. how to continue a right. profitable trade right. and where to exit, you know, those little simple things. Yeah. I just kind of overlooked yeah. it because right. it, it was so simplistic. Well, you know, nicely um, use them with the existing longer term positions or even intermediate term positions, right? If you, let's say you're bullish after. The credit spread you put on is about here. And the stock is now here, which is more on below the gap. So there's a tendency. Hey, folks. Well, those are, were a couple of clips from our Orlando Mastermind uh, workshop that we had just this past February. The next one here is scheduled for uh, April 20th and 21st in Arlington, Texas. And before we get to a couple of trade ideas I want to, I want to go through in just a minute, let me just quickly say one more word on these live in-person two-day workshops. Online education is great. And in fact, it's very necessary because everyone can do this stuff from home. But these, these uh, two-day intense workshops, the next one here being in Arlington, Texas in April, really puts you on an accelerated path. You're there with the camaraderie, the in-person learning in a room uh, with you, with colleagues, like-minded people, like-minded traders is a huge help uh, for your trading and investing career. So I would encourage you to sign up uh, for this event if you can make it. If you have any questions, you can let us know. Just go to uh, sign up or find, find out more about the course at the link down below, below the video in the comments section. All right, let's look at a couple quick things here. Tomorrow, of course, we do have uh, the Fed, and there's a couple of trade ideas that I, I, I think are still are looking quite attractive here. Now, I always say I think it's not the best idea to get ahead of, of big events like, like we have uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday on March the 15th. So you want to be quite reduced from a, from a positioning size, from a swing trading perspective, okay? To be very clear, that's from a swing trading perspective. Nonetheless, a couple things. Number one is Apple. So let's have a look at Apple real quick. You can see that Apple, for the most part, since it's called last December has been able to hold above that yellow line here. That's the 21 day moving average. And look what happened once again, last Thursday, it bounced right off of that uh, 21 day moving average. Again, that's that yellow line. And you can see what that is telling me through the lens of sort of investor psychology, if you will, also through the lens of, of candlesticks, but that's kind of one of the same big important point. Uh, is that the sellers basically exhausted themselves very quickly. And now they're looking to potentially push uh, this stock higher yet again. I'd like to see it close above 140 and then kind of see if we can get towards 142, 144 and so on and so forth, sort of taking it in two point increments. So I think the setup is close to being, to being complete, but uh, I'd still like to see a push above 140 to see if it holds. But nonetheless, so far, Apple holding up. The other one is Netflix. And if you look at a stock like Netflix, very much like a lot of the uh, broader stock market has basically chopped sideways for some time here. And uh, Netflix, nonetheless, now looks a little bit more attractive. It's still, largely speaking, uh, trotting sideways. And that, again, goes into one of the big points I make to Clubhouse members every single day. That's the market. Uh, it goes sideways about 80% of the time. So that's something we want to be aware of. Nonetheless, you can see we're getting a little bit better traction. It's, you know, close, no cigar just yet. Uh, we had, a, I would, you know, you can draw the lines many different ways, but I would kind of draw them like this here right now. And you can see we had arguably a marginal breakout attempt take place uh, just uh, yesterday, which was, uh, what was yesterday? It was Monday, March the 13th. So uh, again, close, no cigar just yet, but I like the way Netflix and Apple are setting up I'd like to see just a little bit more of a push higher and then just confirm a, a breakout. And then and, and I think that we both be looking interesting to trade on alongside. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Again, please make sure to sign up for the Arlington 
Texas Mastermind Workshop. It's going to be great fun uh, for you to not only get on an accelerated path of learning this all, but also meet folks. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a really fun activity this time uh, as well. So make sure you sign up. If you got any questions, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.